Welcome back to the American Legends Watch channel. And this is a watch that I've been waiting weeks for. Just arrived. It's an Oris, but not just any Oris. This is a Oris Rectangular. Could have bought one new for, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars, somewhere in that range. It's what they cost new, but I like to save a dollar. You know me. So I found this one used for about half of that. And the pictures are so beautiful. I think a lot of the Oris brand, independent brand, the level of, of finishing and detail they have is just amazing. I'm very excited to add this as a dress piece. One, two, and three. Look at that. Oh, it's already running. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Case profile. I'll zoom in some more. They said it was an Aorus Rectangular Blue that is actually a black. <laughs> that little tiny exhibition case back shows the trademark red. That was put a red rotor. Normally they use ETAs. Yeah, I bet you that is not the original band. Has a nice texture, it's woven kind of band, very padded. It's a nice leather, but that's not a signed buckle. So I bet you that is not the original strap at all. Let me take off my where my Love 4 band here. I'm gonna do a video on this one. Probably post it before I post this one on the Horus. Here on the wrist. I've got a six and a half inch wrist, so that zoom out a little bit. That curves around my wrist pretty well. Take a few measurements on here. We've got about 43, 44, 43 and a half lug to lug. And I, I really couldn't do much more than that on a watch of this style. That's about 30 millimeters across. Kind of thick. Kind of surprisingly thick, even though that's under 11 millimeters, it's 10.7. It it seems thicker than that. You know, I would expect something thinner. I, I would have probably sacrificed the display back for a, a millimeter of thickness and get that down to about 10. That would wear better as a dress watch if it were thinner. The watch face itself has this lovely Art Deco styling with the pattern of the numerical, numerals, a little reminiscent of the uh, Frank Muller famous design with the exaggerated numerals around the corners. It's a day date. Not a screw down crown, obviously. It's a push down crown. Very smooth, very precise. Cheaper watches will have some play there where you move the crown and nothing happens or the minute hand will kind of wiggle. But that's a very precise action. Hacking movement. The second stopped. You pull the crown out, it's very important. Local time is 8.16. It's crisp changeover on the date. It's the fourth here. Fourth today, fourth everywhere. And counterclockwise, oh, that's that's nice. Get that little day date kind of sweep. So it's a Thursday today. Crown back in. Give it a little wind. Pretty smooth. I would have preferred a crown that's shorter but maybe a little more in diameter to give a little bit more purchase on it. It's a signed crown. It has ores there on the crown. 
the rule line. Obviously a dress piece. Has the concentric circular finishing on the dial. The six is cut off. Loomed on the numerals, which are uh, printed on there. Just the, the numerals are just made out of loom. Swiss made. Sapphire. Polished stainless steel. I don't, or I have never, you know, polished, tried to polish a watch, but I might give a go at trying to polish the sides on this a little bit. Try to get some of those surface scuffs out. Maybe the, let me try to take some of the, some of those marks. Now that little guy is not going to come out. Some of these surface marks might come out a little bit if I can be careful and not remove that embossing. I'm going to keep that crisp, but just the, just on the metal face, that smooth bezel. Any time, any watch with a smooth bezel, just my experience just picks up scratches right away. You know, disappointed that that is black and not blue as it was advertised. Still in it for good money, probably going to wind up selling it and saving up and buying for buying a blue version new. Um, if I like this size, I, you know, I looked, one of the other watches I had strongly considered was the um, Cuervo y Sobrinos. They make a beautiful, several beautiful designs, but they're bigger. They're wider, they're longer, and that would just be a little garish on me. I, I couldn't pull off anything, I think, bigger than this. 30 millimeter wide, 43 long. That's that's pushing what, what would look, you know, appropriate on my six and a half inch wrist. But hope you've enjoyed this video, this look at this Oris Rectangular. Please like and subscribe if you found this useful. Check out my other videos and God bless and have fun out there.